Okay, here's a few examples where I'm going to show you how you do step one of hypothesis testing. And my first suggestion is um, that you underline the claim. Once you underline the claim, then you're going to translate literally what you read. And then you do the rest of the process. Here's what I mean. Okay, so we're going to do problem number 25 here. Okay, and it says that a lop manufacturer claims that the mean life of the battery for a certain model of laptop is more than six hours. So in this problem here, there's a company who claims that the mean life of the battery is more than six hours. See, I underline the claim. They're talking about the mean, the average life. See, that's from the population of the batteries. And they claim that the mean is more than six hours. So how do you write that? Well, mu, because we're working with population, that's the mean, is more than six hours. You will write it like this, greater than six. And I like to put in parentheses the word claim because this was my original claim. This was the claim that was stated in the problem. Okay. And every claim, keep this in mind, every claim has a counterclaim. And how do you say the counterclaim? State the opposite. What is the opposite of being greater than six? Oh, that you are lower, less than, or equal than six. This is the counterclaim. Okay. So every time you underline the claim, you translate it into words. You're going to put in parentheses the word claim because that was the original claim stated in the problem. And then every problem or every claim has a counterclaim. So you have to come up with this. You have to state the opposite of the original claim. And the next step is to label these claims as HO or HA, the null hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis. Whatever claim has the equal sign, like the one on the top here, we're going to label that as HO, the null hypothesis, OK? And the claim without the equal sign, like the original claim here, it will be labeled as HA. Or sometimes they label it as H1. It really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Okay. And that was for problem number 25. Let's do another one. So you start getting the hang of this. Okay. Let's say, for example, that I do um, problem number 28. Okay. And let's read it. It says, an amusement park claims that the mean daily life attendance at the park is at least 20,000 people. So what are, the what are they talking about the amusement park? What is the claim of this park? See here, the keyword claim. Whatever comes next, that's what I need to translate or underline in this case. So they're claiming that the mean daily attendance is at least 20,000 people. So what I underline, that's the original claim of the park. So let's translate this mean because we're working with population we're going to use mu the symbol mu so the mean what happened with the mean is at least 20,000 people okay at least mean that is greater or equal than 20,000 all right and this is my original claim that's why in parentheses I'm going to put the word claim it's just for me for myself because later on I'm going to need that information okay uh, to identify this is the original claim stated in this word problem now you got a claim don't forget that every claim has a counterclaim in the counterclaim you have to come up with it you just say the opposite of the original claim so what is the opposite of being greater than or equal than 20,000 that the mean is less than 20,000 that will be the counterclaim and after you have the counterclaim now labeled, because you, now you have two claims, the original claim and the counterclaim, label each of these as HO or H1 or HA. Okay, so whatever has the equal sign, that was the original claim. That would be HO. HO is always with whatever claim has the equal sign or involves equal. And the uh, uh, counterclaim in this case is H1 because it doesn't have the equal. 
okay so h o always has the equal h1 or h a doesn't have the equal and that's how you do problem number 28 all right let's do one more let's say i do problem number 30 now okay and problem number 30 they say here that according to a recent survey 39 percent of college students own a credit card now in this problem we're working with percentages okay so that means the claim is about a uh, proportion p and where is my claim here that 39 percent of the college students own a credit card and how do i translate what i underline so p because that's percentage own that's a verb and verbs mean equal own okay so that means p equal to what percentage 39 percent so I said decimal would be 0.39. And again, because that was my original claim, I'm going to put in parentheses the word claim next to my what I just translated. You have the original claim, but every claim has a counterclaim. So we need to now state the counterclaim. So P, and what is the opposite of being equal to 0.39? Not equal to 0.39. And this will be my counterclaim. Now I need to label the claims because I have two claims, the original claim and the counterclaim. Anything with equal, HO. Anything without the equal, it will be H1 or HA. Okay? I hope this helps.